Once inside DaVinci Resolve with your video completely finished, let's imagine that we've edited this amazing horse video and now we want to upload it to Instagram. We can see that the aspect ratio of the video is 16 by 9. In a simpler way, the video is horizontal. The most used format to upload videos on Instagram is the vertical format, so the videos occupy most of the phone screen. On Instagram, the vertical format is used for reels and stories. Don't worry, changing the format of your video to vertical is very simple, and now I'm gonna show you how to do it. If you already have a video in vertical format, or you prefer to upload the video in horizontal format, you can skip this step and go directly to the part of the tutorial where I teach how to export the video. Perfect. Now we're going to change the video of the horses to vertical format. The first step is to go to Timeline View Options and click. In the section Timeline View Options, we must activate the first icon of all. By activating it, we will be able to see all the timelines that we've used to edit the videos, right up here. Our timeline that has the video of the horses is called Timeline 1. Timeline 1 will be used to have the horizontal video. What we're going to do now is duplicate this timeline. In this way, we will have the Timeline 1 for the horizontal video and the new timeline for the vertical video. Great! Select Timeline 1 and right-click. We look for the option Duplicate Timeline. We click. We see that another timeline has appeared, exactly the same. We're going to change the name so as to not get confused. I'm going to call it Instagram. Perfect. And now we check. The timeline has appeared right here below. Now we have the timelines Timeline 1 and Instagram. We're going to modify the resolution of the timeline Instagram and put it vertically. There is something important that you should know. From the DaVinci Resolve 18.1 version, we can change the resolution of our video to vertical in a super easy way, just by one click. But it's important that you have the DaVinci Resolve 18.1 version or higher. We return to DaVinci Resolve. We have to convert our horizontal video into a video in vertical format to upload it to Instagram. Doing this is super simple. We go to Project Settings, clicking on this icon here in the lower right. Great! Once inside, we must select the section Master Settings. We click. Here, we can see the resolution of the timeline in which we're editing. We see that this timeline has a resolution in Ultra HD 3840 by 2160. As of the DaVinci Resolve 18.1 update, we can change to vertical resolution with a simple click. We must activate the box, use vertical resolution. It's that easy. We click on save. Now you may have a small problem. The video already appears vertically, but these black spaces may appear above and below your video. If this happens to you, don't worry. It's very easy to fix. This happens because we've configured DaVinci Resolve to reframe our videos in this way. To change it, we must go back to Project Settings. This time we go to the Image Scaling, we click, and in the Input Scaling, we see that there's an option called Mismatched Resolutions Files. This option is what makes us have those black spaces in our videos. You may have selected Center Crop with no resizing or Scale Entire Image to Fit. The correct option for videos to fill the entire screen in vertical resolution is Scale Full Frame with Crop. Select this option. That's it. Now we click on Save to apply the changes. Now the video will occupy the entire vertical screen. Let's go with the final step. We have the video vertically, but we see that some shots are poorly framed. Here you can barely see the horse's eye. We only see brown hair. In this video, the horse has disappeared. And here, more of the same. No horse appears. We don't want shy horses. DaVinci Resolve has an option to fix this problem automatically. We have to select all the clips that are on the timeline or the clips that we want to fix. Next, we go to the Inspector panel located in the upper right part. Inside the Inspector panel, we go to Transform and we open the tab Smart Reframe by clicking on this little arrow here. Perfect. Now you just have to click on Reframe. When clicked, DaVinci Resolve will start analyzing all the videos 
to reframe them so that they appear correctly in vertical format. Now, if we review the videos, we can see that they are much better than before. In this clip, for example, DaVinci Resolve has focused more on people, and it's correct because it's the most striking part of the video, but it would be better if the horse appeared a little more. And in this video of the black horse, he makes a strange camera movement. Okay, to fix the shot of the black horse, we can go to Smart Reframe again, and in the Object of Interest, choose the option Reference Point. In this way, we can select the part of the video that we want to follow. I'm going to select the horse's head. Now we click Reframe. If I play the video, we can see that this time, the framing is perfect. It follows the horse's head all the time. On the other hand, we can fix the video of the horse with the woman and the girl very easily manually. We modify the value of position X and move the video a little to the right so that the horse can be seen more. That's it. Now all the video clips are perfectly framed. We would already have our video finished and ready to export. In just a few steps, we've managed to have the video in vertical format. This is great. It saves us a lot of work if we need a vertical version of the video to post on Instagram. Next, I'll show you how to export the video correctly and with the highest quality for Instagram. Let's see how to do it. First of all, we must go to DaVinci Resolve Deliver module to be able to render our video. We write the name of our video and choose the location where we want to save the video file. Perfect. Now comes the important part, in format. The format recommended by Instagram to upload videos is the MP4 format. We have to click on this little arrow to display the format's menu and search for MP4 format. Next, in codec, we choose the codec H264. In the resolution section, we must make sure that we have the correct resolution. Remember that to have the video in vertical format, we use the 1090 by 1920 resolution. In frame rate, make sure you have the same frame rate per second as your timeline. For example, if you shoot videos at 30 frames per second, you should never edit your video on a timeline at 25 frames per second. This is something basic but very important. Okay, in the quality section, we can select the automatic option and choose best, but we can also configure it manually in the option restrict to. Instagram's official recommendation is to put the quality of the videos at 45,000 kilobits per second, but it never hurts to put a little more. It's free, so it's better to put a little more. We'll increase it to 60,000 kilobits per second in the rate control section. Instagram recommends using the variable bitrate option. Great, now I'm going to show you a function that I always recommend to activate. Imagine that this video is lower resolution than the resolution of the timeline. That is, this video is smaller than the size of 1080 by 1920. Therefore, we had to zoom in to make it bigger and fill the whole screen. DaVinci Resolve has an option to not lose much image quality when zooming. If we go to Advanced Settings and we scroll down a bit, we will see that there's a box that says Force Sizing to Highest Quality. This option is what makes it so that when we have to resize our video and make it bigger, it does so at maximum quality. We activate this option by clicking on the box, if you want to save this setting to export the videos and not have to be configuring and changing the parameters every time you go to export a video for Instagram, we just have to click on these three points up here. Select the option, Save as New Preset. And we write down the name that we want to put to this preset. I'm going to put Export Instagram. So every time I go to export a vertical video for Instagram, I already have it configured. We see that a new setting has appeared, export Instagram. Now, if I change the setting to another and select the export Instagram configuration, we can verify that we have all the settings as we've configured them previously in this tutorial. So every time you go to export a video, you'll have this setting saved. Perfect. We have everything ready to render our video. To finish, we click on add to render queue and render all. This is somewhat obvious but for all of you who are new to DaVinci Resolve, 
Make sure you have all the video selected for export. This gray line above should select the entire part of the video that we want to export. Now, click render, and you'll have your video ready to upload to Instagram. I hope this video has been helpful to you. If you want to improve and learn how to make effects for your Instagram videos, here's a free video editing course. See you in the next tutorial.